Baldacari. The Baldacari is a species of monkey native to Brazil and Peru that is known for its bright red face. A pack of these monkeys is called a troop, and they prefer to live in high trees, away from the constant flooding that plagues their habitat. Scientists believe that the monkey's colorful face is the result of having no pigment on its head, which allows the blood vessel's red color to show through the skin. Baldacari with paler face is also known to be susceptible to malaria and seclude themselves from other acari, choosing not to reproduce. Giraffe Weevil Giraffe Weevil is a species of beetle that lives on the island of Madagascar. Though it for the males, their necks serve as fighting mechanisms against other males, usually over a female weevil. Male weevils' necks are twice as long as those of female weevils. In Madagascar, the weevils have designated trees that are meant for weevils and only weevils. Snub-nosed monkey They were only recently discovered in the Asian country of Myanmar, after a few were accidentally shot and killed by hunters. Since then, scientists have been observing these monkeys in the jungles during the rainy season. The odd shape of their noses allows water to easily fall into the nostrils, causing them to constantly sneeze. The snub-nosed population in Myanmar is currently between 260 to 300. Ice fish First discovered by Diddle F. Rusted in 1927, the ice fish is a peculiar-looking organism that inhabits the shores around Antarctica. It possesses striking features, including fangs and a ghostly white body. For over 60 years. Recently, scientists have theorized that the ice fish could be absorbing oxygen through its skin rather than through gills and into the blood. Gulper eel. The extraordinarily rare gulper eel, which is sometimes called the pelican eel, lives deep in the ocean. One of the reasons it is so rare is because females lay their eggs in such deep waters that the offspring don't often survive after hatching. The gulper eel unhinges the jaws of its incredibly large mouth to swallow equally enormous prey, which are attracted to the brilliant, bioluminescent orbs on the ends of its tail. The prey is then digested in a flexible stomach that stretches to accommodate the size of the eel's meal. Hummingbird Hawk Moth Found almost everywhere in southern Europe and Asia, the hummingbird hawk moth is, predictably, a moth that looks like a hummingbird. Not only does it have a proboscis just like a hummingbird or a butterfly, it can split into two tubes when they need to be cleaned. A sac in the front of its head expands with air when the moth inhales and then deflates when it exhales, allowing it to suck up nectar.
flying frog. The flying frog is a rare species that only comes down from its tree to mate. Also known as the parachute frog, this species has strong membranes in between its fingers and toes. The longest distance a flying frog has been observed to leap was over 15 meters, 50 feet, just enough to make it to another tree or even to the ground. In addition to its web digits, the yellow-green amphibian's oversized padded toes help it stick to the trees for a more secure landing, much like geckos. Salpa Probably one of the stranger creatures in the world, the salpa is an animal you would swear was an alien. Surprisingly, this jellyfish-looking thing that lives off the coast of California is no jellyfish at all but is actually made up of smaller organisms that stick and work together. These easy-going creatures cause a lot more problems than you'd think, though. They have destroyed two fishing nets after being trapped inside them and even shut down a nuclear power plant in California. Scientists say their ability to adapt to different temperatures of water and immunity to human pollution means they may soon take over the ocean. Indian Purple Frog the Indian purple frog, apparently not content simply to be a color amphibians should never be, also happens to have a ridiculous face and plump little body. When these strange frogs are born, they start out as tadpoles, just like regular water frogs. During those two weeks, the frogs only have enough time to find a mate and breed before they have to retreat back underground, never to be seen again. During this time, the males sing loudly to attract females, the volume of their siren song getting louder as the rain increases. Blanket Octopus Living in the seas of New Zealand and Australia, the Blanket Octopus, also known as the Superman or Batman Octopus, is almost as rare as the gulper eel, but it lives in much shallower waters. The blanket octopus's arch nemesis is the Portuguese man of war, a highly toxic jellyfish. The octopus is immune to the jellyfish's toxins, but when a female octopus gets in a tangle with these gelatinous masses, they will literally rip off some of their own tentacles to use as weapons. Face 